Today's program reminded me of a quote I heard about 20 years ago. The quote goes like this, medicine used to be simple, safe, but ineffective. Today, it is complex, effective, but potentially dangerous. Healthcare does amazing things, and those at the front line have moved healthcare to levels that we never thought of maybe five, 10 years ago. We are curing cancers we never thought curable a few years back. Surgeries and procedures that used to take seven days are now being done in under an hour through minimally invasive procedures, allowing patients to be home with their family four to six hours after the procedure. But it hasn't come without unnecessary and preventable harm and death. The healthcare system is full of system and process issues that need to be addressed. Similar to aviation, we must get our arms around these unique processes and systems and risk reduction strategies. Because what happens is good people go to work every day. Those at the front line trying to heal, trying to protect, trying to do what they were trained to do, but we don't give them the tools and we don't give them the support to do that work optimally. And occasionally, air slipped through the system and somebody is hurt. The pandemic has exposed many other gaps in our healthcare system, not only for patients, but also for caregivers. Let's start with the patient safety workforce. Those people, the heroes at the front line, have been exposed to so much during this pandemic. Many have become infected. Many have died while doing what they love doing. And that's healing patients. Even before the pandemic, working in healthcare was not a safe occupation. Depression rates, suicide rates were higher than many other industries. Burnout rates, even before and now after the pandemic, had escalated so high that we are in a nursing shortage crisis. And let's look at the patient safety side. Over 200,000 die preventably from medical harm every year. We must do better. The safety of our health system is at stake. The safety moonshot panel that you heard today highlighted three key areas that need to be addressed if we are to hit zero preventable deaths by 2030 in this decade. The first, we need an organization in every country, a national patient safety board, very similar to what was put in place by aviation, the National Transportation Safety Board, a vehicle, a mechanism for shared learning and ways to improve our health system without punishment, without shame and blame. We need to align our incentives much better than they currently are. Pay for performance has helped a little, but we need more measures that are incentivized by the outcomes. Still today, we reward volume and number of cases over outcomes and quality of care. And finally, we need to embrace transparency. Transparency in outcomes, transparency in learning, transparency around serious safety events and preventable medical harm. If we don't embrace transparency, we will never learn and we'll make the same mistakes over and over and over again. There are so many people I wanna to thank today that contributed to making this a very successful Unite for Safe Care program. First, our keynote speaker, Dr. Tedros from the World Health Organization. Once again, thank you for coming and kicking off our meeting as you did last year. Number two, I'd like to thank our entertainers. Dariush, what a wonderful performance tonight and our heart and thanks go out to you for being part of our group. All our panel discussion members, 
What great educating and informative panels that were led today on multiple topics addressing the safety of our health system, both for patients and healthcare workers. How about the cast from Dr. Death, the award-winning NBC Peacock series? What a wonderful group sharing their thoughts. I encourage you, if you have not watched that series, it is a must watch for everyone. Patrick McManus, what he has done with Littleton Road Productions and his ability to want to help patients and family members, to want to make healthcare safer as he's learned about the issues related to patient safety. To Joshua Jackson, Anna Sophia Robb, and Hubert Pont de Jour. What a great cast. And thank you for sharing all the informative information and your takeaways from what a wonderful series it was. And most importantly, I want to thank our patients and family members. Our organization has been built on a partnership and collaboration with patients and family members who have felt preventable harm and death personally. They, as many of you have heard, are my heroes. How they do day in and day out the work they do trying to make healthcare safer for all of us amazes me. I'm not sure I could do it if I lost a loved one the way many of them have lost loved ones due to preventable medical harm. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thanks to all our sponsors. We could not have done this program without your generous support and your commitment to patient safety. And a special thanks to our co-convener, LeapFrog and Leah Binder, and what a great organization. And it's been a wonderful partnership that we've been able to establish with them to move care to a safer place. And finally, join us. The Patient Safety Movement Foundation is a global organization committed to zero preventable harm by 2030. We are in over 4,800 hospitals in 64 countries around the world, providing free solutions, actionable patient safety solutions that have proven to save lives when implemented. We have programs that allow patients to be more educated patients. So when they go in the hospital, they could truly be a partner with the care team to ensure safer care. Please visit our website, learn about us, join us. We'd love to have you part of the team, part of our committees. You can make a difference. And finally, thanks to all the people who are out there running, walking, and biking for safer care. We have a team of over a thousand across the world who are exercising and charting their miles in an effort to raise awareness about preventable medical deaths around the world. Together, we have walked or ridden over 230,000 miles. That means we've walked one mile, each of us, for every patient that dies each year in the United States. And now we're gonna continue walking until we achieve enough miles to represent one patient who dies preventably across the world. So again, thank you for joining us. We appreciate your support and please stay safe.